Albania is on fire. The small Balkan nation has been engulfed in massive anti-government protests, which literally left a stain on the face of the country's prime minister. <laughs> The country's opposition decided to destroy their parliamentary mandates, you no know, kick the system out of order. So what is going on? Well, the allegation the authorities face is no joke. A lot of people are certain the government is working hand in hand with drug lords. A parliament that is not the product of the vote of the people, but is a product, as has been exposed by judicial wiretapes published by the international media, of organized crime cooperating openly with the current government. Alleged leaked phone calls of one of the country's most notorious cartels revealed dozens of Albanian MPs were happy to use the gang's influence and, well, persuasion skills to buy votes in the general election, which the ruling party won by a landslide. Wiretaps also led to the official investigation into Albania's former interior minister. He stands accused of passive corruption, drug trafficking and of being an active gang member. And here comes the twist. The prosecutors can't really do anything but prowl around him, since Albania's prime minister has refused to revoke his diplomatic immunity, shielding him from the law. The official position was to deny everything. With every allegation of corruption, you know, there are, there are documented evidence and there is allegations. Um, but in this instance, there are significant documented and evidence links between the current government, organised crime, money laundering and the trafficking of drugs. And I think it needs to be ascertained as to whether the 2017 elections were free and fair or whether there was vote buying and vote rigging going on. Um, and I think that is why people are, that was sort of the cherry on the cake, you know, why people feel that there needs to be some action taken. And it could be a case of just a few bad apples, but the opposition says it is not. The sheer scale, really, of the drug operations in Colombia of Europe is mind-blowing. This tiny nation has become one of the biggest transit hubs for heroin, cannabis and cocaine smuggling. Racketeering, a servile police force in the pocket of crime lords. Politicians enabling the drug trade instead of fighting it. This is what Albanian protesters say drives them to the street. Yet so far, they've mostly been told to shut up and know their place. Threats by the Democratic Party, the Socialist Movement for Integration and other opposition parties to abandon their mandates in Parliament undermine the basic principles of democracy. Yeah. A political protest is apparently a violation of democracy in the U.S. rulebook. The same U.S., by the way, that suffers from a severe drug problem of its own. Europe, that Albania's mafia have turned into a dirty money cash cow, doesn't seem to mind backing the elites too. The lawmakers go against the democratic choice of Albanian citizens and undermine the progress the country has made on the European Union path. Yes, the EU seems eager to overlook the opposition's cry for help and set the NATO nation and Europe's drug den on the course of integrating into the Union. What they're doing is provided for in the electoral code and the constitution of this country. Therefore, what they are doing is completely 100% democratic. Yes, it's causing a political crisis, but this political crisis is only happening because there are serious allegations of election rigging. Um, I think that the EU and the US, I don't know whether it's from ignorance or whether they have some other agenda, but there is, um, I mean, people are shocked at the way that they're behaving. Um, they've systematically failed to address any other protests in Albania over the last year. The protesters are angry about this. Civil society is angry about this. J me as a journalist, I'm angry about this because the fact 43 um, opposition MPs resigning is democratic. It's the pinnacle of democracy.